What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's recap time for Wales versus Scotland that took place in Wales last night. What an awesome game. Another emotional crowd. If I win the lotto, I'm going to go watch every single Six Nations game I can because just the emotions within the crowd. I mean, it's just epic in Europe. The singing, like I said, with the preview for England, South Africa, the Twickenham crowd, Welsh crowd, the Irish crowd. It's just epic. Scotland. I just, I love the way they sing and chant together. It reminds me of when you're in PE and the Ole start. It is amazing. The anthems for both countries are so stunning and it just it gets you so in the mood for the for international rugby and that's why i love it so much but um what an epic interesting game another six nations type game obviously next week the two teams will face their southern hemisphere teams which i cannot wait to see it should be absolutely epic but a very very intense game what i liked about both teams is that both had their moments to shine they both were there and and had the opportunities to score tries not always getting them i mean wales were close to getting it early scotland gave away a few too many penalties um so they need to watch that going ahead into the southern hemisphere teams they need to be a little bit more disciplined obviously one thing we must all take into account once again both teams did not have their starting team it was a second third team i mean wales were without some great number of players scotland were out with also i mean laidlaw one of my favorite to watch i mean he's such an, a massive impact within the scottish team with his experience and leadership i mean hog being injured so scotland were missing a few gems as well as wales so for what they had they produced an epic rugby game which was again showing what test rugby is all about and it's exciting to watch the trials that were scored were amazing I mean Wales scored a great one um, after the second half where it was just the, the teamwork within it what I love most about rugby is when it's 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 like a teamwork trial when the scrum off passes and it pass 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 find the break straight through amazing stuff Scotland nearly 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 had their try when the scrum off did that beautiful quick um, chip kick and unfortunately the bloke just couldn't catch it um, to me I don't think and I maybe I'm, I'm wrong here, but I thought it went a little bit back and the, the arm might have just got um, grinding on the ball. I mean, I've seen tries given where a pinky um, had, was enough control. So maybe I'm wrong, but I thought it a little tough on that and I could have maybe changed the game. But taking nothing away um, from Wales, they really, really are in a great place. And again, for a second, third team, they, have the, they really have a, a great formation. I mean, from where they were a couple of years ago, where, or last year, where they just weren't the greatest team, to where they are now, it's special rugby they're playing at the moment, coming second in the Six Nations, proving point by point that they're improving and growing. I did a video complimenting Wales, saying they are on the rise or, or getting better, and, and rightly so, you could see it against Scotland. I mean... You'd say your yeah, Wales go into favourites, their home ground, Scotland aren't the strongest, but Scotland have come a long way, guys, to where they also were. They were like, I mean, you, you would say Italy, Scotland were the wooden spoons of the Six Nations. Scotland have come up and played competitive rugby and give teams, even teams like the All Blacks, a little run for their money, which is amazing to see. I love it. it it's just epic to watch the Scots play. It was quick rugby, passing ball. Yes, the second half you didn't get much points scored, um, but that, the thing that happens, there were opportunities, but both defence was epic where they just didn't allow tries to go through. Again, if Scotland maybe uh, caught the ball and got the try, it would have been a different story. If Wales had scored early on when they just got, came short of that opportunity, also could have changed the game. Wales might have gone ahead. I mean, when you're playing in Wales with that crowd behind you, I mean, that must give you such amazing momentum going forward. And it, it truly looked like an epic game. It was exciting to watch. Um, and it was, you know, it was just a special game that proved why international rugby is so awesome. George North, really, really great player. He played so well last night, and I really loved the try he scored. Jonathan Davies also picked up a try, as well as um, Leif Halfpenny slotting the points over. Another great player too. Wales have they scoring some great points. For Scotland, Stuart um, McKinley, he scored a try in the 35th minute. 
um, and then obviously um, Adam Hastings getting the points for the penalty as well as the conversion. So unfortunately they couldn't get it. But if we think of it, if Scotland were a bit more disciplined with regards to penalties, we would have seen nine points away of this game and it could have been closer. But again, that's rugby. We always see penalties being made. I mean, you can never go a game without having a penalty. I mean, it's inhumane. You've got to make mistakes here and there. But here again is where the stats interest me so much in rugby. I said it in the previous video that I, that I did with regards to Ireland and, and New Zealand in particular, and even South Africa. The statistics don't give you the result. It's the result. If we look at the possession for the full game, Wales were 40, Scotland 60. Territory, 36 to 64 to Scotland. That is unbelievable. Scotland needed to capitalize on maturity. They showed up and they really played great, great, great rugby. If they can just capitalize and maybe chill back a bit, I think we could see some amazing things from them. If we look at some brief stats here, runs 110 versus 179 to Scotland, 294 meters run to 420 meters run. Clean breaks five and five, even Stevens there. Amazing, amazing stuff. If we have to look at the, the attacking ways, like I said, possession territory, all in Scotland's favour. It's weird. It, 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 it frustrates me because you want to see a, a team capitalise and grow and, and get better and better as we go along. And the reason why I'm a little frustrated, I've got a bit of Scottish bias to me because my dad's born in Scotland. I've obviously got Welsh bias because Gareth is Welsh name. But it's, it's just an awesome game. Got so much respect for both teams. And I'm so impressed and happy with how they have improved and developed. It is, it is amazing. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do against the Southern Hemisphere teams. The defense of this game. Truly amazing stats here. Wales, 171 tackles over 187. 91%. That is truly, truly amazing. 100 tackles made from the Scots out of 114. 88%. Also, amazing stuff. A lot of defending, a lot of attacking. It was truly an epic game. If we look at some of the discipline areas here, 13 given away for Wales and 12 for Scotland. So truly, very interesting results that we've had here. And I'm excited to see what these two teams are going to offer as we go forward into the Six, uh, six Nations November International. Wales have an epic game against Australia coming up. It's going to be a tough contest. They will feel, I think, confident going in there as favourites because of what where Australia is at the moment. But again, you can never count out the Aussies. They are tough, they are strong, they are competitive. And if they show up, they could defeat Wales. But also Wales are looking good and didn't have their full team. If they have their full team, it's gonna well they will have their full team next week. It's gonna be an absolutely outstanding game. Scotland take on Fiji, who are another great team you can never count out. These Pacific Island teams are awesome at what they do. They're tough, they're strong. Fiji is developing in rugby there are a dark horse. You can never count them out. So for me, Scotland need to be alert and ready, but it should be an awesome game. So much to look forward to, but we'll talk about that in the predictions video coming up near or later this week. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys real soon for another video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys real soon for another video. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notif uh, notification so you're always notified for future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.